Whoa! What's up, everybody? Yeah! Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Topic of the day, the fake natty test. What? What? Do people actually take gear, performance-enhancing drugs, and then lie about it? That's not true. World of social media stardom and YouTube fitness, Instagram filters. Do people actually take drugs and not tell the truth? Well, Uncle Mike is going to share with you a not-so-foolproof test in order to determine whether or not that is a fake natty. So do you want to know who the fake natties are? Do you want to have the fake natty test at your fingertips so you can punch in a few numbers and determine whether or not you are a fake natty? Well, I'm happy to share this information with you because you might not be aware of it. And we can actually run through and determine who are the fake natties of YouTube fitness. And you saw the photo, the photo on the thumbnail. That's none other than Mr. Fake Natty himself, allegedly Mike O'Hearn. Mike the Titan O'Hearn, one of the most prolific cover models in all of health and fitness. Mike O'Hearn, I believe, has had more fitness covers than any other model in history, which is pretty insane. And Two claps for Mike O'Hearn for producing such a long career of, what, 30 years now? 30 years looking damn near exactly the same as he always had, which is pretty darn spectacular. But the rumor mill abounds, and people wonder whether or not Mr. Mike O'Hearn is a fake natty. I don't know. I don't live in Mike O'Hearn's bathroom. I haven't gone through his medicine cabinet or his refrigerator to, ter to determine if there's anything in there other than duck eggs. What? Or maybe he's got the frog in his garage, right? Possible. Maybe that's how he's getting them quality gains. But who knows? I don't know. I don't know. But one thing that might know is what's called the fat-free Index. What is the fat free index? Well, let's take a quick look. The fat free mass index is an alternative to body mass index, which accounts for a person's muscle mass. The average male score about 19. And it's hard to score above 25 without, wait for it, using anabolic steroids or other banned not natty substances. So first and foremost, let's actually see Mike O'Hearn. And Mike, I'm sorry to pick on you, buddy, but you're just so god darn photogenic. Let's see height and weight. Mike O'Hearn's height is six foot three, allegedly, and his body weight of 247. So let's plug in Mr. Mike O'Hearn's stats into the fat-free mass index. And let's see, six foot three. 247 pounds, and looking at these photos, I got to say Mike O'Hearn is probably walking around at 8% body fat, but I'm going to be nice to Mike O'Hearn, and I'm going to say 10% body fat. Six foot three, 247, 10% body fat. What does the fat-free mass index calculator say? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Judging by this, Mike O'Hearn, you are. Not natty. What? What? <laughs> this is actually fun. So this has Mike O'Hearn sitting at 27.75. 27.785. So he blows the chart. Blows the chart apart. Mike O'Hearn. There we go. Who's another good one? Let's say Mr. Olympia Phil Heath. Um, oh, Phil Heath, what do you, I mean, come on, Phil Heath has got to be. So it says Phil Heath contest weight 240 off season 275 at five foot nine. What? I wonder how this is going to come down. Jesus, Phil Heath is an inch and a half shorter than I am. Five, nine, off season. Let's do his off season first. 270. And let's say he's 12% in the off season. Ha, 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 ha. Bill Heath has a fat-free mass index of 
35.087. Yowza! Holy moly. This is insane. Now, on in season, he's 240. Let's see what that says in season here. Uh-oh. I lost my charts. I lost my charts, but that's okay. Uh-oh. Son of a gun. Here we go. You know, he might go hard. Fat free. Yep, there we go. Got it back. All right. You guys ask some questions here real quick. And 240 on stage, let's say Phil Heath is 4% body fat, though. I mean, come on now. And again, 34.024. So that is, boom, not natty. Now, guys, gals, actually, let me do me. What am I? Let's see what I am. Uh-oh. Bum, 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 bum. What is Uncle Mike? Here we go. Five foot, 10 and 10 pounds. And right now I sit here right about 13% body fat. Uh-oh, Uncle Mike's been having some fun. Ooh, ooh, 25.844. What does this mean? What does this mean? Is Uncle Mike a fake natty? Is Uncle Mike a half natty? Or is Uncle Mike just super swole for being natty? That's what I'm told. Maintain muscle mass. So when I diet down, I'll go from 210 at 13%. In order for me to get to like 8%, got to drop down into the low 190. So I need to lose about 20 pounds or so in order to get my body fat down to that percentage. I'm having a conversation with you guys about it. So let's see. Ashraf, what's up? Good morning. Who else do we want to see? Who do we want to see on the fake natty test? This is fun. Happy Halloween, Uncle. What's up, Warhammer? Jesse Lee Dolce. Always get me laughing. All the fools out here. I know. Have, have, it's Frank Wells. What's up, homie? NASA shirt caused those gains are out of this MFN world. That's what's, that's what's up. Um, it's actually the literally the only clean shirt I had available today. Um, but I'm hoping to start my strength coaching career. I'm going to start working. Oh, connection is unstable. What the, man? Fucking YouTube be tripping. Okay, there we go. There we go. Turned off that VPN. Let's see what happens. Um Go start working with fledgling bodybuilder. Any tips? You're the man. Keep them healthy. A lot of the bodybuilders they are going to pollute their body. They don't care. Bodybuilders don't care about their health, right? Bodybuilders will only pay attention to their health when they're sick. I mean, I, I love, I got a lot of brothers and sisters, figuratively speaking, not by blood, that are bodybuilders. There are physique athletes. They don't care about their health as a group until they are sick. That's it. They, 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 they duck and run. They, they, they just duck down. They pretend like it's not happening. And then they run away from the problem. So do your best with them. Keep them healthy. Angel, what's up, coach? Hope all is well. When do we find out if we passed? Ooh, Friday. Um, ooh, F you, Dolce. Change my IG band to Angel Poblano 707. Help grow my brand. Bang, my man. Warhammer. Josh Burnett talked about O'Hearn like he's a god. Made no mention of the juice. Granted, there's plenty of people who juice and aren't anywhere near O'Hearn. I'm not mad at Mike O'Hearn. I don't care. I don't care. I want to see everybody healthy, everybody successful, everybody making money, everybody living their dream. But I don't like when liars come on and they pretend like they look a certain way because they're taking drugs or they, they act like it's not because of the drugs, right? They act like it's not because of the drugs. Now, I disagree with a lot of what Greg Doucette talks about, but at least he's honest about his drug use. I disagree with a lot of what Mark Bell talks about, his war on carbs, though I consider Mark to be a friend. His whole war on carbs and whole bullshit. But at least Mark is honest about his drug use. Same thing with Joe Rogan. At least Joe Rogan admits to taking TRT and HRT and then discusses his diet on top of that. At least I can respect that. That's a, that's a part of it. You can respect someone who talks like that, that says, hey, man, I'm taking drugs, this, that, the other thing, but this is the way I'm eating. O'Hearn, on the other hand, I've never actually seen Mike O'Hearn mention taking drugs. And the assumption is that he's all natty. And he actually, I believe, says he's all natty. Well, the fat-free mass index clearly does not agree. Now, it, he might be the outlier. Maybe he's a genetic specimen, and I'm not straight out accusing him, but all the relevant data clearly shows that, no, he's not. And if you look at his physique, anyone in the gym says, come on, dude, what? stop, just shh. just stop, stop, just shh. Shh. Mike, shh. Shh. stop. Nobody believes you, but whatever. I mean, he, he's living his best life, though, so I'm not mad at him.
Uh, what else we got? Ashraf says, thoughts on Stevia? I don't really use it. I'm not really a fan of Stevia. I mean, eh, it kind of tastes gross anyway. Uh, Mohammed says, what's up, Dolce? You're the man, brother. Always keeping it real. Quick question. I recall you saying that you could lose around five pounds in one day. How would that just be fat? No, that would not be fat. That would only be water. That would only be water. I mean, that might be a few ounces of fat, you know, probably, maybe, but that would strictly be water. Sam Corey, I think one Uncle Mike once referred to Stevia as a homeless man's a-hole, and I actually almost did it again. Drinking Stevia tastes the way I imagine a homeless man's a hole would taste. I, I am because I don't have personal firsthand experience. If any of you do have firsthand experience, please feel free to let me know. I, I certainly love to. I wouldn't love to hear that actually. Um, and also, I would love to see you guys smashing that like button and giving this video a thumbs up. I'm giving you the the the, the fake natty test. Come on, now you can go out there and you can check out any fake natty on the planet. You can do this yourself. I'm giving you the fake natty test. Smash that like button swiftly, swiftly. Come on now. Um, favorite hot sauce to use on eggs. Um, I like hot peppers. That I'm that guy. So instead of using a hot sauce, we always try and get as close to the natural, wild, organic source as possible. So instead of hot sauce, we have jalapenos in my house that I'll just mix up. I'll actually fry them in the pan first. This is my, my goal, or this is what I do. Chop them up. Kind of like give them a little stir fry so they break down just a little bit in the pan. Then I'll whip the eggs, pour the eggs into that pan, cook them. So I'll actually cook the peppers into the egg, like when I'm making an omelet or whatnot. Cook that in there. So you get the broken down eggs to mix in, or broken down pepper to jalapeno to mix in with the eggs. Then the eggs actually cook in, and then I'll throw whatever veg might be in, fold the omelet, boom, done. Um, as as um, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the immortal Kevin James, he's still alive. Um, had said, if this whole fitness thing doesn't work out for me, I could make a great living as a fry guy working in a local Jersey diner. I think that was a compliment. Kev, yeah, was that a compliment? I think it was. Um, what's else? Jesse Lee, any advice for amateur MMA athlete not into all the social media platforms? Just looking to make a career out of this and was looking for advice to make money and grow as a martial artist. And man, Jesse Lee, you got to come out to our next certification event. Come to our next Dolce Diet certification event. Start saving your money right now so when we tell you the next date, you will have money to go. Come to this next certification event. We can help you make money. You can make money working with us, working alongside of us, using us as a resource, selling some of our products at steep wholesale discounts. There's tons and tons of money that you can make as a duly certified Dolce Diet coach. You want to be a Dolce Diet coach? Working with athletes, working with clients, working with facilities, working in your community with the support and best practices of our team, you definitely want to get out to the next Dolce Diet Certification and Nutrition Conference. Next date will be announced very soon. So I don't have, I'm not telling you the date just yet. Get your, start saving your money immediately. Save that money immediately. And I will tell you, Jesse, I'd love to have you. Love to have you out. Raul, what a cool name, Raul. Raul says, what's up, Mike? I want to start incorporating more calisthenics in my routine. When I'm done, or when I'm doing 100 to 200 push-ups every day, what else do I need to consider to prevent muscular imbalance and bad posture? Squats, are you doing bodyweight squats? What we do, we do bodyweight squats, we do push-ups, we do V-ups, we do burpees, and we do planks, and you can then create variations. So let's say bodyweight squats, you can add resistance, you can add a band, you can add a goblet, you can do certain things, hold one dumbbell, hold a kettlebell, in the middle, whatever, lots of things it can do. You can do backwards lunges, you can do side lunges, you can do curtsy lunges, you can do walking lunges, all on that same little tip. You can do step ups all on that same little squatting motion. Push ups, you can do multi platform push ups where your feet are raised, your hands are raised, one foot is raised, um, you have wide angle, you have close angle, you have high hands, you have low hands. You have off balance, like on one med ball, then you roll the med ball across. Lots of different things you can do for balance and variety. Um, V-ups, you can do V-ups, two hands to two feet, one hand to opposite foot, um, one hand to near side foot, legs only, hands only, holding resistance. Again, lots and lots of things, kind of like rotational V-ups where you go back over your shoulder, come back past your legs. Lots and 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 lots. And lots of great things you can do off that very basic chain. Nick Gambino, what weight heavy bag should I get? I'm currently 195 at six foot. You know, Nick, I don't know. I don't have that answer. I wish I did. That's a good question. 
I would say you should probably go and, and try and work on a few to see how they feel. What's right for you might not be right for someone else, heavier or lighter. It all depends. I don't know for sure. I apologize. That's not my area of expertise. You might want to jump over to Mr. Dwayne Bang Ludwig's Instagram page and ask him a question. Dwayne is an expert of all things striking. Apologies, Nick. I don't know. Raul says, I throw rear delt flies in once, a, once or twice a week, um, but that's it for now. And that sounds great. I'm, I'm fan with, happy with that. James, happy Halloween, Mike. Hope you and your family are having a great time together. Um, keep up the amazing work. James, thank you so much for the kind compliment. That is very appreciated. It's rare. Not we're Actually, it's not uncommon on this channel, but it's always nice to see that we have kind, generous, thoughtful people like yourself checking, checking in. So thank you. What else do we have here? Randy, no coffee for Dolce starting tomorrow. I know I'm sucking down so much coffee. I have like nothing left of this little bit of espresso. And you better believe I'm going to fill this up with water, drink it just to get every last little bit of caffeine. But tomorrow starts. Just say November. Who's with me? Are you with me? Just say November. Who is joining? Just say November. Follow the hashtag on Instagram. Hashtag just say no. N o v e m b e r. November. Capital N o November. Just say November. Where we will give up for the entire month of November something that we enjoy, something that we find comfort in, something that does not hurt us is not a bad habit. It's not our Coke habit. It's not our heroin habit. It's not our hooker habit. It's not our gambling habit. It's not our alcohol habit. It's not our cigarette habit. We shouldn't be doing that stuff anyway. So that's a whole nother conversation. In just say November, we are giving up something that we enjoy that has no detriment to our life. I'm giving up coffee because I love coffee. Coffee has no adverse effects on me. I'm totally healthy. Doctor says, yeah, drink whatever you want. You're fine. No limitations on coffee for me. Why am I giving up coffee? I'm giving up coffee for the month of November because I love coffee, because I enjoy coffee, and because I want to delay that gratification. I want to make myself less comfortable simply because I have the power to do so. So I am saying during the month of November, just say no to coffee. For me, I am strengthening the muscle of self-discipline. So what I ask you, everyone watching, what one thing, just one thing, can you give up for the entire month of November that you enjoy? It's a little creature comfort. It's a guilty habit that you have, a guilty pleasure. It's not ruining your marriage. It's not ruining your, your, your mortgage payment. It's not ruining your health. It's not ruining your career. It's something that you do that you could actually do without simply because you're choosing to do so, to put make yourself less comfortable. Just say November. What are you going to say no to? I guarantee you this will make you a much better, much, res much more resolute, much more disciplined individual, much more capable. Go back and watch. I think two or three days ago, the video I did, just say November. Go watch that video so you understand. But I hope you guys join in. I'll be there, Dolce F you. Hell yeah, Jesse. I'm so pumped up. I'm so pumped up to see you. Favorite oil to cook in? I have to say avocado oil, though coffee is a close second. Randy Betancourt, no coffee for Dolce. Start tomorrow. Thank you. I appreciate that. Smashing the like button. Hey, now. Hey, now. Trying. I've been listening to a lot of the Howard Stern lately. Hey, now. I can't really. I can't do it nearly as well as he does. I think he has some sort of filter that he does it so well. But hey, why not? Good for you. Hey, now. Do. Um, I'll just. Hey, do awesome. Just. Johan. Johan, bang, dropping the $5 Super Chat donation. Johan, thank you so much. Johan says, I'm going to need lots of tea to get through November with no coffee. I trust you when you say it'll be a lesson learned. Johan, I'm with you 100%. I'm going to be tea guy. I'm going to be tea guy. I'm going to drink my chamomile tea, my black tea, my English breakfast tea, my Earl Grey tea, my green tea, my peppermint tea, my, my hibiscus tea. I'm going to be Mr. Foo Foo Tea Guy. And even, you know what I really do enjoy? I enjoy hot water with lemon, the, the, the drink of grandmas around the world. Hot tea with lemon is very enjoyable. I love it. I really do like it. So I'm excited to get back to that. I haven't done that in a while. Um, so, Johan, I am with you. Thank you for the donation. Not even a question, just a statement. Johan, you are awesome. Thank you so much for that. Super cool. And I'm with you. I'll be thinking of you. 
Fro Tax, Tony Ferguson, the type of guy to drive the Uber guy home and run back. Ha, <laughs> Fro Tax, that's awesome. Billy K. Mike wanted to thank you for responding to our comments. Seems easy, but other websites don't do it. My comments go into the black hole. You are really interacting with us, and for I, for one, appreciate it. Billy, thank you. I'm here. We're, we're all the same, right? We're all part of the same community, and that's the whole beauty of this. I get, I have the, the honor of engaging and interacting with you guys, of hanging out with you guys, of having this communication. I freaking love it. It would be awesome if we could all sit in the same room, sipping on coffee or tea during the month of November, and just hanging out. So I love this opportunity, and I am shocked and appalled and, and embarrassed for these other so-called fitness experts who don't take the time to engage with their community. That's what this is. So it's an honor and a blessing for me. Like I look forward to doing this every single day and getting to hang out with you guys, help answer any questions. Remember, provide actionable, evidence-based, honest information to improve your life. That's why I get out of bed every day. So thank you, Billy. Brian, is overtraining real? Seems people keep throwing this terminology around, but haven't noticed this in my training. Yes, overtraining is very real, although people... Um, they misunderstand what overtraining is. Overtraining is very, very, very difficult to actually attain. Oftentimes, we enter into overreaching syndrome long before we get to overtraining. Most people think they've gone too hard for three, four, five days. All of a sudden, they're overtrained. They're not. They are. They're not even entering overreaching syndrome at that point. They're just tired. They need to recover. Overreaching syndrome happens over the course of days to weeks. Overtraining syndrome takes weeks to months to actually enter into. So most of the time, you just need to take a day off, bump up your calories, get a good nine hours of sleep, and you are ready to roll. Um, Angel, giving up TV sports. Good for you, Angel. Proud of you, my friend. That's awesome. Angel, by the way, ladies and gents, just came out to this past Dolce Diet Certification and Nutrition Conference and knocked it out of the park. He'll find out if he passed or not. Dun, 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 dun. Angel did great, though. Um, Ashraf says, how much cardio should MMA fighters do aside from the cardio you get from striking and grappling? Depends on their, their, their base. Um, I'd say three to five additional sessions per week, but those could just be lists, low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity. What will you drink instead of your coffee, Mike? I will have, um, hot water with lemon, which I really enjoy that drink. I mean, I'll put that in the thermos and then sip on it all day with fresh squeezed lemon. Um, I will have green tea, black tea, Earl Grey tea, chamomile tea. Um, and those are my, my go-tos. I've been on this whole bergamot Earl Grey kick lately. Um, deadlifts and squats three times a week. Ashrev, that sounds awesome. Body shots. I just started my own business. Can you please make more videos about business? Thank you, Uncle um, Uncle Dolce. And F, you body shots. Absolutely. You got it 100%. I offer a mentorship program for those who are interested. If you do want to work with me, you can click the link below this video after the video post that says work with Mike. We actually start off with a consultation. You pay a couple dollars for the consultation. And then if that's something you want to roll into a monthly relationship where I work with you, it's, it's daily. It's, it's, it's intensive, as intense as you want it to be in that I help set um, action steps for you. We help, we help set goals, create action steps, and I keep you on task all the way through offering best practices of what I've personally gone through to build my businesses and what I've learned from the most successful people on the planet. Anyone who's interested in that, we certainly offer that here, but I have limited spots because I, I'm, I keep it very personal. I don't, I never take on too many clients. I take on only a handful of clients that I can give 100% of my time and attention to. So if that's something anyone's interested in, you don't have to be working in the fitness business. Probably half of my clients don't even work in the fitness business because business is business. It's universal. Ashraf says deadlifts and squats three times a week. Yep. Everybody on allowed ratios. Exactly right. It's crazy. Are you going to M go in MSG or catching at home? I'm staying home. I love to be home. I've seen enough. I'm blessed to see. have seen enough fights in my day. I have no desire. I don't. I like to sit on my couch. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't even watch the live fights anymore. I got two little babies. I got a four-year-old and a two-year-old at home. I don't w care about watching the live fights. Though so I buy them and I'll, I'll watch them. Usually I'll watch the fights in the office here on like Monday or Tuesday after the air. I'll just sit here. I'll, I'll turn on the flat screen and I'll just kick back and watch them while, while sitting in the office. Uh, much better. And then I can be a better parent. I'm, I'm home with my kids. Um. Who wins, Canelo or Kovalev? I, I'm saying Kovalev. I'm saying Kovalev. I think Kovalev takes this. I know that's not the uh, the popular opinion, but I'm taking Kovalev. Ashraf, much love, uncle. I study nutrition, train MMA. I'm 18, so busy with school. But I really wanted to come to a DDC. If it's during the summer holiday, I'll be there. Bang, Ashraf. 
Let's do it. Excuse me. Woo. Espresso. Espresso. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm in 100%. That'd be awesome. Angel. And by the way, everyone watching right now, quick, smash that like button. Bang, 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 bang. Give this video a thumbs up. What the heck? I gave you the fat-free natty test. Come on now. That's big time. Done, done, done. The suspense is a killer. Glad to meet you, my friend. Can't wait to crush my goals with such an awesome team to back me. I'm heck yeah, Angel. I'm pumped up too, my brother. Um, Dr. Seuss, F you, coach. We appreciate you. I appreciate you. Frotex family. Family is everything. Family is absolutely everything. I do not care. I, I don't. Man, I can always I can watch the fights whenever I want, right? It's it's all TV, it's DVR, it's all recorded right now. So bam, get them, watch them on my time. I don't watch that stuff on family time. I don't do that. I got my kids running around. That's bedtime. You know, getting the kids ready for bed, putting them down, unwinding. I'm not gonna make my wife sit in front of the TV like I said. I think on on yesterday's broadcast or one of the previous ones. Like, does your wife watch the fights? Yeah, she does. But it, usually it's when it's someone we know. You know, someone we don't know. I, I know Jorge. I know Nate. You know, I, I'm friendly with both guys. Probably a little bit better friends with Jorge than Nate for sure. Um, but I like both guys. Will I watch that fight on Saturday night live? Nah. I'm going to be a, in bed. <laughs> I'm going to be asleep. By the time those dudes are out there slugging out, I'm going to be fast asleep. So I'm going to wake up the next day. Let's say I get up early on a Sunday morning. I'll probably turn it on and go downstairs before the kids wake up and watch. Otherwise, I got no problem watching on Monday. All right, guys and gals, that's it. Fat free or the natty test, the natty test, the natty test, the fake natty test. Uh, go back and check that out the first few minutes of this video. I really do think you guys will enjoy that. Um, subscribe to this channel. And remember, if you want to get in amazing shape, if you want to lose weight, feel great, and follow the most successful healthy weight loss program ever devised, go to the thedolcediet.com and join the four-week, three-weeks of shredded program or the 12-week living lean plus three weeks of shredded program. It is on your phone, on your tablet, and on your laptop. If you sign up today, you can start whenever you want. So sign up today and you can start on Monday. It gives you the weekend to get your grocery list, go through, you can see everything, but the program actually won't start. The countdown won't begin. Our support team, support team is always there to help you. I'm always here to answer your questions. Why not get in amazing shape before Thanksgiving, before you blow your diet on that day? Why not lose 10, 15, 20 pounds, three weeks of shredded was designed to lose 21 pounds in 21 days. Why not get shredded? Start the three weeks of shredded program or the living lean program at the Dolce diet.com. Go check it out. You have nothing to lose other than wait. Check it out. The eye test doesn't lie. That's the truth, Rotex. I'm with you. All right, guys and gals. Well, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. It's Halloween. So I'm going to take my kids around the neighborhood now, stock up on a bunch of candy that we're going to dump in the garbage can, and then we're going to give them a ton of toys and board games and STEM projects to play with because that's what we do in the Dolce household. How cool is that, right? They do all the trick-or-treating, all the fun stuff. They go all the way around. We get all their, their, their candy, all their, their ransom or whatever their – I forget what the hell you call it – all their goodies. We take it. And we give them these awesome pre-made baskets that my wife made that has all their favorite toys and games and little stuffed animal characters. And then they spend the rest of the night and all the rest of the next week playing with these amazing games, family games and fun games and little personal things. That's how we do holidays in our house. We do not teach our children to poison themselves in celebration. That's what we do. And hopefully that's something that you can share with your community. We do not teach our children to poison themselves in celebration of a, a, a positive life event. That's what we're teaching over here in our household. And it's just what I'm sharing with you. Do what you do. No guilt here. It's just an alternative, alternative option that we can also consider here. So it sounds a little weird until you really think about it. And it'd be cool for you guys to, to see how we do it. But um, we, I don't put my kids on social media. That's I'm not that dude, right? A lot of people are. Now, if you put your kids on social media, you're, quote, a, a civilian, which I wish I was. That's awesome. But I, I run a business and I'm a little bit, I mean, you know, cover of men's fitness. So I'm a little bit in, in the limelight for whatever, you know, humble being that can be. Um, I'm not one of those those dudes who throws their kids on social media to try and get likes and whatnot. Um my family and my friends, they come over to my house. They see my kids, so I don't post that shit. Um, that's a whole nother conversation. I think I'm going to do a video on that. But I've said that before. And I, ooh, I had some of my famous friends get really mad at me. Some called me out personally. Some said stuff behind my back, blah, 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 um, about it. But it's like, dude, you do, that's why you do it. 
That's why you do it. You're throwing your kids on social media so you, you get likes. You, you got an account for your kid on social media? Are you kidding me? Who are these adults following your kid? You want all these adults following your kid? Really? You're going to like give your kids privacy out there? Really? That's to me. I don't know. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, hey, whole world of strangers. This is my kid. That doesn't that doesn't make sense for me. But I'm a very conservative um, minded individual when it comes to family and, and business. You know, it's, I mean, you don't even see me posting photos standing with athletes or celebrities. You don't even see me doing that. I don't even use that to promote my stuff, right? I don't even use celebrities that we work with every single day or pro athletes. Rarely do you ever see me do that. You damn well believe I'm not throwing my kids up there. That's crazy. Um, let's see, let's see. Right on, Mohammed. Mohammed, thank you. Happy Halloween, Thomas says. Thank you, Michael Chang. F you too. I'm um, Frotex. I'm scared of needles and blank and candy. It's crazy. It is crazy nowadays. So that's why, you, and when we do go, you know, trick or treating, we live in a, we live in small town America. I mean, we live in the type of town that we live in. People don't lock their doors. They don't lock their cars. Car windows are open and the wallets are sitting on the seat the next morning. Now, my house is like Fort Knox. We have multiple tiers of security systems. We have Pitbull and German Shepherd, you know, police trained dogs. You know, everybody in the house outside of the children know how to use firearms, yada, 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 because I lived in Las Vegas for almost 10 years. And we took that Vegas mentality back to the East Coast. So like when we moved in, we had all the whole security system going up around the property and all of our neighbors were like, what are you doing? We're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, doo, doo, doo. like I can, see, I can see everything. I can see everything from my phone. I can see all the perimeters, all the, I can hear everything. I can see everything. Got the, all the, the video recording, the, the upgraded data, like the whole freaking deal, motion sensors and just, you know, trip alarms and like all that boom floodlights that all click on at the same time. We have all that crazy stuff. Um, but our neighborhood is, it's so, it's so overkill, and which is fine. I don't want to oversharing here. So overkill for our neighborhood because our neighborhood is the sweetest, kindest, multiple, like we have retired police officers and like, you know, super adorable families and like grandmothers of kids I went to school with because I moved back to my own hometown, right? Um, so it's so cool to see like this amazing, like block parties of just like these people that it, they've literally been living here for like two, three generations. And we just lucked out to find a, a home on this street, you know, and, and bought it actually from a family that I had previously known growing up, which is super cool. So I'm not as worried right now about that, but you're always aware for those who go trick or treating in neighborhoods that they don't know to homes that they don't know. I don't get that either. That's why like what we would typically do, you go to all the houses, you know, and then you go along Main Street because Main Street, that's where all the, the, the real candy is back in my candy whoring days. Um, Angel says, that's why I take my kids candy to the dentist and swap it out for a little cash. That's awesome, Angel. I love that you said that. So Angel's local dentist actually has a buyback program for candy. You bring candy to the dentist office, they give you cash for the candy. That's super cool. Bo Swim, respectable not putting your kids on social media. Everyone is after likes. I so agree with you. And then giving your baby a freaking Instagram account. What the F? Bro, I know. Or Bo Swim, Bo, guy or girl, don't know. Not assuming genders here. Um, but Bo Swim, I agree. I don't get it at all. It's so weird. It's so weird to see, you know, pseudo famous people posting all this stuff about their kids on Instagram. And some of the stuff is, is just inappropriate. It's like over... We'll say stylizing their children, making their children to be much more mature um, than they are, which that blows my mind. My kids aren't going to have social media. I mean, as I am right now, my kids are much too young to be on social media. But even when our kids have access to the Internet, they we've we've eliminated access to nearly every portal. So our kids don't have access to the Internet as it will. They don't have access to like Safari or Google. We, we've completely disabled those from any access points that they have. We've disabled any sort of two-way conversation, two-way traffic. Nobody can contact our children at all through the internet. So when they do have internet access and then what they play on the internet is curated games. So they can only access the apps that we've actually approved for them to use. And those apps are only 
you know, engaging brain building type of game. So that's all our kids know. They have no idea of all the crap that's out there. They don't have Instagram access, which is insane. They don't have all this, this two way traffic coming in and out, which is crazy. Um, I don't, I don't get that. You know, I don't want to be overly judgy. This is the way I live my life. I raise my children in this growing, changing world. And I know now I'm going quite a bit longer on this conversation. Um, then, then, you know, I kind of intended to, because I was talking about the whole fake natty thing. And now we're talking about how to raise our kids, which is why I like hanging out with you guys. We can talk about that. Um, Frotex, when they have to x-ray candy for safety, that's a non-starter for my kids. Exactly. Exactly. Angel says, agreed. I went back and removed all my son's pictures and cleaned out my Instagram feed since I plan on using it as a marketing tool. Angel. And that's one thing that we do. So Angel came through this past weekend, Dolce Diet Certification and Nutrition Conference. And we talked about the difference between social media and business media. All social media is business media. What does that mean? That means you're engaging people at a, a arm's length distance. Now, those of you who want to see photos of your kids, they should probably have your cell phone number and they're seeing it in the group text messages. That's what we do. We have a little group chat set up with, with the moms and the grandmoms and the aunts and the cousins and anyone who wants to see the first day of school pick or the, 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 the baseball practice. Well, that all gets pumped out through our internal channels, our secure internal channels. Here's a picture of the kid doing their cool little thing. We don't throw that up on our Facebook wall for the whole world to see, for Mark Zuckerberg to keep and sell to the Russians, right? I don't understand that. Now, even if it's, oh, but it's innocent anyway. Yeah, but there's not innocent people on the internet, right? There's, there's very, you know, not innocent people floating around out there, not innocent entities. And this information ends up in data dumps to be accessed by these non-innocent individuals with non-innocent purposes. So why would we even subject our children to the possibility? That doesn't make sense. That, that doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, Frotex says, remember when social media was going to someone's house and asking if they could come out and play? Exactly. Um, F you, Dolce. C. Waldo says, happy Halloween. Thank you so much for all that you do for us. Absolutely. Well, thank you um, so much, everybody. I will cut it there. I thought this was going to be a 20-minute stream, and here we are at 37 minutes. So I appreciate you. Remember, the fake daddy test. Are you a fake daddy? Are you a fake daddy? Go through and punch in your own data and just type, it, type in fat free mass index or fat free mass calculator. Punch in your own information and see. Be honest. Most people think they're way leaner than you really are. You're, most of us are a lot fatter than you really are. I actually just recently had another body fat test. So I know exactly. I'm like mm, just under 13 or just under 13 when I had it. So I'm saying I'm 13 right now because I'm really on. Because, and I, I, I probably cheated the test a little bit because I know how to cheat those tests too. But I'm right, right about that same. And I'm probably a little bit, um, a little bit heavier. It's two. I said two ten. So I think I was like, yeah, um, I was like two oh eight actually when I took the test. But I'm thinking because the way I'm eating right now, intentionally, I'm eating. I'm in a, a mild bulking phase right now that I will talk about a little bit later um, for you guys. So creating content, man. I got to tell you how strong I am. Holy cow. Holy cow, but I don't want to blow the content yet. I am so strong right now. Oh, my God. But in order to get strong, you need a caloric surplus, but not over, you know, I'm not at 1,000 calories extra per day. I'm right at about 400 or so calories today, and I started this bulk at 200 calories. So it's been a very progressive, systematic increase of foods. Well, not really counting calories. I'm just estimating. I'm just adding across the board every 10 days or so a little bit more food to all my meals. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, F you Dolce, happy Halloween. Shmur says, F you Dolce, don't bleep with my coffee. Well, well, Shmur, if you don't give up coffee, then you have to give up consensual sex. All right. Which is the only kind you should have, by the way, because this, I get, we have to say that in this world. So if you, if you're not going to give up coffee, then you have to give up sexual relations. Yeah. Everyone's like, Oh, coffee. <laughs> Coffee, I don't have to give up coffee. I'll give up coffee. No problem. No problem. I mean, even though some people, like, they don't even, whatever. I'm not going to, I could make funny jokes. I'm not going to make funny jokes right now. I'm Mike Benavides. How would we use the three traded book if we don't have access to the online? Well, Mike Benavides, that's why we actually created the online program, the DolceDiet.com's online version of Three Weeks to Shredded and Living Lean. If you've bought our number one best-selling books, Three Weeks to Shredded was an international number one bestseller on Amazon in five 
countries. Our Living Lean book was a number one bestseller on Amazon and also Barnes and Noble. We beat the help. Did you know that? Our Living Lean book beat the help, which was part of the Oprah Book Club when it first came out. How cool was that? Those are number one best-selling books. The problem with the book, it is two-dimensional. It's very difficult. Not difficult, but in this modern day and age now, Living Lean book came out in 2011. Three Weeks to Shredded came out in 2014. The original came out in 2007. It is now 2019. This is why we came out with the online program. The online program is a 4D version of this exact same science. When you go to the online version of the thedolcediet.com, you have this exact meal plan created for you. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to think about anything. You get the most perfect meal plan you could ever have created for you through our sophisticated algorithm and rule engine. Every keystroke you put in, every digit you type goes into this formula. This formula is 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 like a living, breathing being that you're talking to created by myself and our team. We have four registered dietitians two exercise physiologists working on this with myself, along with our team of, of front end, back end um, computer scientists working on this to create this. This was a, a long, long, long process, long. Let me tell you how long it took. We could have easily slapped together some BS template program, but we did not. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to create this for you guys because it works that well, because I wanted it to work that well for you, knowing it would be the best of its type in the industry. So go to the dolcediet.com to get your own personalized perfected diet and exercise program because the exercise is built into this too, which is amazing. So how do you use the book if you don't have access to the online? With the book, then you have to do the calculations on your own. And that worked for people since they purchased it, right? But the, the calculation is based, and we made it for easy math, based upon a 200-pound individual approximately that was, I think he was 190 for the purposes of the book. So 190 pound individual, let's say 200 for this conversation, easy math. You have to make the calculations based upon your current body weight and goal weight. Now, this person did lose 21 pounds in 21 days, which is the goal of three weeks to shred it. Do you want to lose 15, 20 or more pounds in three to four weeks? Three weeks to shred it is for you. The online program is for you. And I say this with such confidence because it works. And I give you a 100% money back guarantee because it works. Make sure you read the terms and conditions, of course. Don't blow the bank here. But that's what it is. Everything is there for you to succeed. It's all at the thedolcediet.com. I don't want to over oversell it because that's not the purpose of this talk. But those of you who want it, it's there. It's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. Freaking use it. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to eat. You're sick of doing the same old things. You're tired of not making gains. You're tired of not seeing results. You're tired of not feeling good, feeling energized, feeling better. Just go to the dolcediet.com and get started. That's it. That's all you need to do. Just go there and get started. You can start, you know, click into the program today. Let's say you want to start next Monday. No problem. This coming Monday. No problem. The following Monday. No problem. Start it right now, though. Start it right now. Get all the access, all the data, all the plans, all the grocery lists. See what you have to do. And then just wave your way into the program and get started. Mikey, I hope that helps for you, my friend. If not, I'm always around. You can ask more questions. All right, guys and gals. I think that's it. Now it's time. It is time. And I'm going to sign off here to our YouTube channel exactly the way I sign off on our audio podcast. Remember, don't count calories. Make calories count. Boom.